Hey, I have uh, my grocery shopping here and I'm going to make a juice for you guys. And this video is really going to be about showing how inexpensive it is to one, eat healthy, and two, uh, inexpensively eat as a vegan. Because I know that there's a lot of uh, just junk information going around saying, oh, I can't afford to eat healthy, or oh, isn't being vegan expensive? It's like, no. No, it's not. It's actually cheaper. So, uh, I got my list here. I got a few things I want to show you. Then I'm going to make a juice out of some of it. I'm going to give you a couple me quick meal ideas for the foods that I have here. Kind of give you an idea of maybe some of the things that I'll make out of them. And I also have some other videos that show the actual meal prep uh, and the dish itself. So, my one rule of thumb when I go shopping is I try and spend no more than two dollars a pound for anything and that's really when you go shopping is one of the most important things that you need to think about is the price per pound don't worry about oh this box of cereal is three dollars or four dollars if you look at the box of cereal it might only be six eight ten or twelve ounces so you're actually paying say you pay four dollars for a box of cereal that's actually four dollars a pound. That's pretty expensive. Same thing with Cliff Bars. If you look, oh, 10 for 10, 99 cents for one Cliff Bar. One Cliff Bar is just over two ounces. You're paying over eight dollars a pound for Cliff Bars. Whereas you could get dates for five dollars a pound organic. You can get bananas for anywhere between 33 cents for non-organic to 69 cents to a dollar 69 for organic bananas so uh, you really want to look at price per pound when you're buying things so I uh, grow a lot of my own food I work on a farm and so I get a lot of my vegetables for free which literally cuts my bill in half I mean I'm spending less than fifty dollars a week on food maybe even thirty or forty bucks a week on food because I'm growing a, a lot of it myself uh, I mean, that definitely helps. Um, but when I'm not, uh, I spend a little bit more for some of the produce. But again, the $2 a pound is generally the way to go. You know, sometimes I'll do $3 a pound. Um, but generally, a lot of good fruits and vegetables you can get for under $2 a pound. So here I have a big bag. Uh, and it just has... A bunch of homegrown uh, zucchini these ones see this one's kind of soft here we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to cut some of these up prepare them because they're not uh, they're not exactly the way you'd like them but they make for pretty good juice I'm gonna mix a little bit of zucchini a little bit of this uh, zucchini up with some carrot and it makes for a pretty refreshing drink. I really like it. really cleans me out. Keeps me hydrated. You know, some of these are kind of funkier looking. But you know what? These were all free, so I'm not going to complain. Um, I also have a bunch of cucumber that I got. Here's, uh, here's a big zucchini that I got. I need to make some zucchini noodles. So that's one idea that you can... Here's a couple cucumbers some cucumbers these are all free again I mean I'm just gonna make a juice out of it I mean like this right here bam that's a meal right there two huge cucumbers and a big old zucchini I uh, can't go wrong with that so the food that I actually buy at the store I have uh, three sweet potatoes I made a video last night about my sweet potato smoothie that I make that's really really good it's just it's a new invention of mine and it's just it's fantastic uh, I should say new creation so here I got uh, here's like a purple uh, a purple sweet potato here's just your regular sweet potatoes um, these were a dollar seventy nine a pound for organic I mean you can't go wrong if and you want to get organic too. I know it's going to be a little bit more expensive generally than non-organic. It's worth a little bit of extra. I mean, the couple hundred bucks that you spend at the end of the year to buy organic is going to save you so much money in the long run on health care. I mean, you don't have to you don't have to peel these. They're not full of pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. Uh, you don't want any of that crap. You don't want it. You it, it's poison. Don't do it. I got bananas. 
Organic bananas are something that uh, uh, may be worth shopping around for. You can get organic bananas at like a regular conventional grocery store for, uh, I don't know, the banana prices have been up and down recently, usually about 99 cents a pound, maybe 79 cents a pound. I was getting them for 69 cents a pound at Whole Foods. This small organic grocery store I go to, I think they're like a dollar twenty. Uh, $1.29. If I buy them in bulk, I'll get them for $0.99 cents a pound. Uh, or again, organic, right? Organic. And uh, and again, they're under 2 bucks a pound, so that's really what you want to go with. So these are under 2 bucks a pound. I usually go through maybe 6 a day for a, a uh, an after-workout smoothie. I, do, I have a whole other video on that. But six bananas is the way to go. Uh, oatmeal, organic oatmeal, a uh, dollar, dollar eighty nine a pound, dollar ninety nine a pound. That's a little. That's getting there. That's a little expensive for organic oatmeal. But again, it's under the two dollars. So uh, I'll make oatmeal out of this. I'll put the bananas in here, make some oatmeal out of it. I'll put it in smoothies. Uh, I'll make, uh, I have a video, another video up of um, uh, the oatmeal pancakes that I make out of them. So I'll include the link for that. And organic, uh, looks like short grain brown rice. And this was a $1.89 or $1.99 a pound. Again, not too bad. We're sticking with the the two dollar pound. I've actually put cooked rice in smoothies or I'll just do cooked rice. I have some tempeh I'll put in there uh, or uh, or a bunch of stir fry, a bunch of mixed vegetables. So that's kind of the idea with this. Um, you can have bananas for a snack, put some peanut butter on them if you want. So that's kind of the general idea I have for this. And now we're gonna make a smoothie. So we're just going to do up a whole bunch of these guys. Um, I might have to cut up some. These ones are good. So yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to include some of the other videos uh, in the in the description box so that you guys can check out some of the uh, got coconut oil in this one some of the other recipes that I use for some of this food. Again, uh, you know, eating healthy is making an investment in your health. When you choose to eat healthy, you're saving, you're going to be saving money in the long run on your health. You're going to feel good. You're going to feel great. I mean, look at the foods I'm eating. It's like locally grown, organic, you know, Zucchinis and sweet, I mean, sweet potatoes. You can buy this at the store. So if you don't have access to local food, don't trip. I mean, we got bananas. We got, I mean, you got oatmeal. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of heavier on the oatmeal and the rice these days just because I'm trying to save a little bit of money, which works out really well because for most people, you know, the oatmeal and the rice and stuff is a pretty healthy choice for them. Um, I'm, I want to try out a uh, 100% uh, fruitarian diet, 80-10-10 diet coming up here once I, uh, once, once I get a job. I'm applying for jobs right now, so once I get that going, then I'll try maybe a more raw diet. I know I, I talk a lot about raw diets, and I'm a fan of raw diets. Not necessarily 100% raw, but pretty high raw, 80-90% uh, is generally where I like to be. Um, for now, I'm maybe... Maybe 60% raw. Alright, well we got a whole bunch of zucchini and we're just going to do it up. Let me grab some carrots. Here's that, uh, the sweet potato smoothie from last night. I know it's really just, it's orange, but it tastes awesome. Check out this, uh, we got this big old zucchini. Look at that guy. This... This is, you can make some awesome zucchini noodles out of it if you have a spiralizer or you can just grate it. Uh, and then here we got big old fat cucumber. So, 
These are things that grow really easily. You can't grow wrong. You can pretty much grow them in any part of the country. You can grow them in your backyard. So I really like zucchini and cucumbers and even tomatoes because anybody can grow your own food. It doesn't matter where you are. You just need a little bit of compost, some water, sunlight, and love, and that's all you need. So check it out. We're going to do this up. Space. So you'll notice halfway through I put the carrots in. The reason I did that was because uh, these zucchinis are going to be the bulk of the uh, juice. So I don't want to fill this up and then estimate how much space I have left. Try and put the carrots in at the end and then overfill it. But, you know, if, if I want to stick to no more than, say, 32 ounces of juice a day. Um, so I like to put the carrot in because I definitely want those four carrots. It doesn't really matter exactly how much zucchini I put in. I definitely want the four carrots or the five carrots. So I make sure I get the four or five carrots in, and then I can just kind of play with it with little pieces of this to get it to where the amount I want to be. So that's another trick to do while you're juicing. Uh, but for me... I'll drink a gallon of juice a day, not even thinking. So, look at that. Orange. Let's finish this off. So I got a whole bunch of juicing videos out there, and I gotta tell you, you gotta love the Breville. I mean, look how quick that was. Do you know how long it would have taken to do, what, 10 zucchini and 5 carrots in a, uh, in an auger-style juicer? I mean, I don't get me wrong, I really like the Omega 8003. Uh, that's an awesome juicer. But in terms of just drinking sheer amounts of juice... For quickness, this is the way to go. The cleanup is a little bit easier on the Omega, but the cleanup's still not bad on this, and I can just make just mass quantities of juice so quickly and easily. Uh, I'm going to wrap this video up. Check out some of my other videos. Again, I'm going to put some of my other video links in the description box uh, so you can see the actual recipes that I use with uh, some of these other food items. Again, $2 a pound for food when you're buying it. Get yourself a high quality juicer, spend a couple hundred bucks, get the Omega 8003, get a, uh, a Breville, this is the Juice Fountain Elite, uh, this was 300 bucks, you know, spend the money, I mean these juicers have, this has, I don't know, a 3 year warranty on it, the Omega's got a 10 year warranty on it, like 200 bucks over 10 years, you can afford a juicer, get yourself a juicer, get healthy, Start juicing today, and I'm telling you, you're going to watch all those health problems go away. I don't care what you got. You got seasonal allergies. You got acne. You got a stuffy nose. You got, uh, you got inflammation. You've got arthritis. You've got IBS. You've got uh, Crohn's. You've got uh, multiple sclerosis. You've got cancers. Get yourself a juicer. Start juicing today, and I'm telling you, I guarantee you, you will feel better. You will absolutely feel better. Juice it up every day. Make sure that you're using organic vegetables because if you're going to be drink eating uh, 10 cucumbers a day, you don't want all those pesticides in your juice. Get yourself a juicer. Do it up. Uh, thanks guys for watching and uh, keep spreading the love and get healthy. Make yourself priority. Make yourself uh, the most important thing in your life. Focus on your health. Focus on really, you know, giving yourself the love and attention that you deserve and everything else will radiate around you. Thanks, guys.